and welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Regney. I'm the principal second violin of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. We have such a great program for you tonight. You've heard of 76 trombones. Well, we have four of them, but they're fabulous times a thousand. You are going to love them. We have this fabulous quartet playing for you tonight. Three of them are from the National Symphony Orchestra. We've got Craig Mulcahy, Kevin Carlson, and Matt Guilford. And from the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra, we have Doug Rosenthal. They have got some terrific music planned for you this evening. Also on the program, we will be joined by Youth Fellowship Program alumna, Ella Tomko on the cello. And she has been doing some really cool stuff since she graduated from high school and from our program. So we will be joined by her um, in just a little bit. But we're gonna kick things off with our trombone choir, our quartet of gentlemen. They're gonna be playing two works to start the evening off. The first is by Franz Josef Haydn. This is a movement from his glorious, magnificent masterpiece, The Creation. Achieved is the glorious work. And after that, they will be playing a piece by the American composer George Gershwin, an arrangement of his piano prelude number two. So let's head over now to our trombone quartet extraordinaires, uh, Craig, Kevin, Matt, and Doug. <laughs>
Oh, thank you guys. What a great way to start. So beautiful. Love it. We're going to be back with them in just a while and they've got some more just fabulous music planned for you. But right now we're going to head over to our youth fellowship student. Now, as we have been doing since the summer, we've been featuring members of our youth fellowship program. This is a very competitive program that the National Symphony Orchestra has for high school students. And basically they get to study with members of the National Symphony. They get to play chamber music with each other and coach that music with the members of the National Symphony. And they get to observe our orchestra rehearsals and actually sit in with us from time to time, which is really fun. We always love doing that. And these teenagers have just been spellbinding, I think. They've just been so great to get to know and even better to hear. It's just absolutely inspiring. Our student tonight is an alumna of the program and her name is Ella Tomko. She plays the cello. And while she was in our program, she studied with NSO cellist Mark Evans. So he is gonna come on the show right now and tell us a little bit about what it was like to work with Ella. So welcome to the show now, Mark Evans. Hey, Hi, Marissa. how, how are, are you? you? I'm great, how are you doing? Good, it's so good, good to see you as great. always. Great thank to see you, you too. For, thank you for coming on as you've been on a couple times now. and. Thank you for your work in the Youth Fellowship Program, because I know you've been doing this now for many years. Yep. Yep. I think this is my eighth year teaching in the program. Uh, Seventh or eighth? Yeah. Yeah. And how long did you work with Ella? I worked with Ella for about a little over two years, maybe two and a half years. Mm -hmm. yep. She's so fabulous. I know you love working with her. She was wonderful. She was the most enthusiastic student and just always a joy to work with. Yeah. Do you miss her? I do, but it's, it's really nice to see when students go off to college to see the really cool things that they get involved in. Yeah, and she is doing some cool things. She's flourishing, which we're about to find out. So let's bring Ella on to the show. Hello. Hi, Ella. There you hey. are. <laughs> Welcome, and thank you for being here. And you brought a friend. How nice of you. <laughs> yes, so tell, yes, tell oh, us the name um, of your pianist. Yeah, so this is Robert Macy, and uh, we've been collaborating for the past seven years. Thank you, Robert, for being with us tonight. Absolutely a pleasure. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a senior at Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia, uh, studying piano performance. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And it's so nice that you guys get to play together during this time when you're both <laughs> stuck at home, right? Nobody's on campus. Yeah, well, I, I actually went back to campus this semester, but our semester has ended, yeah. so um, we're back at home. Yeah. <laughs> and Ella, have you been at home as well? Yeah, so I've been at home this whole semester, so we were able to get together a few times. Um, yeah, and so now where are you in your uh, college career? Um, so I just finished up the fall semester of my junior year, so I'm on year three. <laughs> and where are you going? Oh, I'm at the Frost School of Music, which is at the University of Miami. Miami. Awesome. That's so great. Well, I know that Mark loved working with you. I've talked to so many of my colleagues in the symphony that work with you, either with like chamber music or got to know you, and they all speak glowingly of you. So we're just thrilled to have you on. I know one of the things you're doing, um, you know, besides playing the cello at college, is you have a very cool project where you're sharing music with other people via the radio. Can you tell people about that? Yeah, so I run my own um, classical music show once a week. Um, and it's called Pando, um, which is inspired by this type of tree. Um, and essentially, I just bring all my favorite kinds of classical music um, to the table and share it. Um, and before the pandemic, I would broadcast live. So I'd be in a studio speaking in a microphone live. Um, I can't do that now, but yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I'm gonna tell everyone and give them information about this. Thank you for doing that. Well, I know you're gonna switch your mic over so you can play, but thank you both for being here. We're just so excited to hear you play and for all that you're doing. And while she's switching her mic over, I wanna, since the beauty of the internet, you, can, you don't have to live in Miami to hear her radio show, you can actually sit at your computer and do that. You just go to wvum.org slash listen. And again, the name is Pando. So please check out her radio station. That's so cool that she's doing that and she's sharing music with people probably all over the world. So we appreciate that. So Ella and Robert are gonna play for you now a piece by the French composer, Nadia Boulanger. 
she is an incredible, uh, was an incredible force and, and one of the most important figures in 20th century music. Not only was she, she a composer, she was also a very important conductor and she was a teacher and she taught some of the most important composers or musical figures in the 20th century, not just classical. I mean, she worked with the likes of Darius Mio and Aaron Copeland, but she also taught Quincy Jones. So she was all across the, the map there and really influenced a lot of important people. And this is a beautiful piece in three movements by Nadia Boulanger for cello and piano. So let's head back now to Ella and Robert.
Robert, so terrific. I love that piece too. Amazing, amazing piece. Thank you for that beautiful performance. Thank you to Mark Evans for being with us and for all the work that he does with our youth fellowship students, the past and the present. And they're obviously doing some great things. Please check out Ella's radio station. And if you're curious about our youth fellowship program, perhaps you're interested or you know somebody who might be interested in it, you can check us out, kennedy-center.org slash NSO. Then you click on education and then you click on career development and you will find some information there about how to maybe apply or just information about the program that might be helpful to you. So proud of our students and all the amazing things that they are up to. We're gonna head back now to our trombone quartet. They've got two pieces for us, the first by a Belgian composer named Flor Peters, and this is a piece in four movements. And then they're gonna head back to America for some good old fashioned ragtime, um, a piece by the American composer Lou Pollock. That's a plenty. So let's head back now to Craig, Kevin, Doug, and Matt. <laughs>
you're not dancing to that. There's something wrong. <laughs> guys are so great. Thank you, guys. We'll be back with you in just a minute. I want to remind all of you, please follow us on our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and we're on YouTube. On Facebook, we are NSO Musicians. On YouTube, we are NSO Musicians. And on Instagram, we are NSO underscore Musicians. We are always posting new content all the time. Also, I encourage you to check out our fabulous colleagues uh, in the Kennedy Center that are in the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra. They too have a social media platform and they are also posting stuff all the time. So check them out on Facebook and on Instagram. And on both of those platforms, they have the same name. It's K-C-O-H-O -O, Musicians. Please check them out and support them with all your spirit and enthusiasm. I know you will. We're gonna head back now and have a little conversation with our four fabulous trombonists. Hey! Hi, Marissa. Hey, you guys sound so great. Okay, so just so everyone knows who they're looking at, we've got Razor Trombone, when I call your name. We've got NSO Principal Trombone, Craig Mulcahy. Hello. <laughs> we've got NSO Assistant Principal Trombone, Kevin Carlson. Hey, we've got Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra Assistant Principal Trombone, that is a mouthful, Doug oh. Rosenthal. <laughs> And from the National Symphony on the bass trombone, we've got Matt Guilford. Hey. Um, first of all, tell us where you're playing because it's so beautiful. So we're very fortunate to have this space. This is the Peef Lutheran, Peef Lutheran Church in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. And uh, we're very grateful that we were able to come together and plan this uh, space and be separate enough uh, because our houses don't really work for that kind of thing right now. Yeah, well, it's beautiful to look at, and it, the acoustics are lovely, too. Awesome. So perfect for brass. I also must say, you are for the four of you look spectacular. You are, without a doubt, the best-dressed male guest we have had on this show to date. <laughs> <laughs> so kudos to you all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I it's our classy bass trombone. It was Matt's idea. It was Matt's idea. Matt, I mean, look at you. I love it. <laughs> now, okay, you were playing on the bass trombone. So, can you show us just how, like, the size differential here between a bass and a and like sure. a the, the main difference here is that um, the the tenor trombones have two valves, mm -hmm. uh, one valve rather. Bass trombone has two, and also the bore size, which is the the, the tube right here, is larger on a bass trombone, and also the bell, which is covered here, it's it's also larger than what they have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Doug, thank you for joining us this evening. It's always, we always love having our colleagues from down the hall <laughs> join us. So we're really thrilled to have you. You sound great. Thank you. And Kevin, welcome back. You were on our show this past summer. <laughs> You're like a, a, our new addition to the NSO, but you didn't get to play with us very long before we got locked down, but um, you guys sound so great. Thank you so much for doing this this evening. And I know you have um, a suite now of Christmas music to get us in the holiday spirit, which I'm very excited about. I've already started my decorating, as you see. So um, you're going to play three tunes, and then um, we're going to take a little break. So I'm going to let you switch your mic over. And while they're getting ready for that Christmas spectacular, I want to let you all know, if you are so inclined to donate to the National Symphony, you can do so by going to this website, kennedy-center.org slash support NSO. There's a little button that you can click, and any money that you choose or are able to give is, of course, 100% tax deductible. We would appreciate it so much. It would mean the world to us. So perhaps you will consider that this holiday season if you've been enjoying these shows from the very beginning. We're um, on show 30 something now, so we've been going at it. So hopefully uh, you'll consider supporting the orchestra. And now speaking of the orchestra and these fabulous guys, God, they look so good. They look as good as they sound. I'm so impressed. We're gonna head back to them now to Craig, Kevin, Doug, and Matt for some holiday cheer. <laughs>
so lovely. We will be back with them in just a minute to finish off this holiday suite. But first I wanna remind you, we will be back next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, so please join us. And we have a terrific, actually, husband and wife, two uh, duos joining us. We've got NSO Assistant Principal Horn, Laurel Olson joining us, and her husband, Harris Truman, who is uh, an alum of the N National Symphony Orchestra. He was our former assistant principal bassoon. So they will be playing some uh, piece together and then also a piece that Truman composed because he's a wonderful composer. We also have husband-wife team uh, Zeno and Natasha Bogacek joining us. Natasha plays violin in the National Symphony. Zeno plays violin in the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra. And they have got some fantastic music planned. I cannot wait for this. Also, our youth fellowship student is another alumna and another cellist. We have Bella Lorenzo Higuere joining us. So come see what she's been up to. So please join us next Sunday, 7 p.m. We're going to head back now to our fabulous trombones for two more Christmas pieces. <laughs>
spirit now so terrific i want to thank all our performers tonight craig kevin doug matt ella robert and thank also thanks also to mark evans for joining us thanks to all of you for joining us as well please join us next sunday at 7 p.m eastern we will be back with another terrific program um, i want to thank as always our producers bob reardon jamie roberts and dave murray i want to thank thomas baker for his artwork i want to thank Sophie Edwards, Edwards for her tech work on my end, so appreciated. We are gonna end this evening with a beautiful uh, arrangement of Silent Night. And this is a special tribute. Uh, you may remember a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that um, a, a special part of our NSO family, a wonderful person, Elise Blake, was in the hospital with COVID-19 and she is thankfully out of the hospital now. She is Dave Murray's partner and uh, Dave is, of course, a member of our trombone section and a valuable part of our production team on the show. He has been taking care of her. They are sludging through this tough journey together. And he wrote this beautiful arrangement of Silent Night. So we'd like to dedicate this to Elise. And we leave you all um, best wishes. Please stay healthy. And we will go back now to our trombones to take us out with Silent Night.